Welcome to this narrative tutorial on using Microsoft Word 2013. Word 2013 looks very similar to other versions of Word that you're used to using. There are some changes, however, that you'll need to know in order to properly set up your paper in APA style. Pay attention to the numbered boxes in this tutorial. They'll remind you of the steps you need to follow. Remember, this is a quick guide. You should always consult your instructor with specific questions that you may have about APA style. Begin by opening a new Word document in Word 2013. It's easiest to start with the blank document option. Once you have opened a new document in Word 2013, check the ribbon at the top to make sure that the font type is set to Times New Roman. Also check to make sure that the font size is 12. To change either the font type or font size, use the drop down arrows. Click on the Insert tab, third from the left on the top row of the ribbon. Then select Header, which will open up the various header options. Select the first header option. You'll now be able to edit the header and running head for your paper. APA Style recommends that the running head on the first page mirror your paper's title. Enter the words, without quotes, running head, then a colon, and then your running head in all caps. For pages thereafter, you'll use a shortened version of the paper's title for running head. Make sure that you check the box for different first page. Your running header should follow the format you now see on the screen. From the end of your running header, hit the tab button twice to move your cursor to the right hand side of the page. When you've entered your running head and moved your cursor, open up the page number function using the drop down arrow. From the drop down menu under page number, select current position, and then plain number. This will automatically insert the number 1 on the first page. This is how the first page of your APA paper should look with a running head and page number. To set up the rest of your first page, select the Home tab. Open up the Paragraph option box by clicking on the small arrow to the right of the word Paragraph. In the box that opens up on your screen, check to make sure that the line spacing is double. Also check that the spacing for before and after is at zero. When you've done both of those, click OK. Place your cursor on the page and select the center function in the paragraph box. APA style requires a title page that includes the title of your paper, your name, and your institution or college. The instructor may require the, the date. This information may vary from instructor to instructor, so make sure you know what is required. The title page information should be in the middle of the page with all the text centered. Scroll down and move your cursor down to start page 2. To edit the running he head on the second page of your paper, select Header and then Edit Header. Remove the words Running Head, leaving only the shortened title of your paper in caps. Along with the page numbers, this is what will appear on every page hereafter. This has been a short tutorial on setting up a paper in APA style. Please feel free to contact an Evans Library librarian with any questions you may have. See us in person or contact us online. We're always here to help.